Hello people, welcome, how are you doing? This is episode 70 of my Let's Play Season 3. Haha. <laughs> We're going to start working into another staff right now. So for that I'm going to need some provider logistic pipes, collectors, and now I'm going to need some uh, no, alchemical chests are not what I want to... Uh, 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 I don't have any condenser in here, it seems. Oh, maybe this one? Hey, <laughs> yeah, energy condenser. Perfect. <clears throat> I had completely forgotten about that. Ouch, I didn't want to do that. No, no, no. <clears throat> Sometimes accidents happen. Oh well. So I'm going to work in here. What am I going to do? Well, first I'm going to do something we already did uh, before. Which is this. Frankly, I don't want to depend on a lot of different stuff when it comes to Castle Black. So I will go ahead and do something very cheating. I hope it won't uh, be worse than other stuff, but uh, we shall see. It's a small experiment on my part, anyway. And uh, I also have been testing some stuff in the in my testing world. Uh, essentially, you can feed your oh yeah. I had been testing stuff on my testing world. You can feed the bis condensers by placing uh, industrial a build crafts pipe, even a logistic pipes, and uh, logistic pipes, yeah, pipe, on the on the side of the bis condenser. If you the bottom connects to the output, so you could take out the the empty crystals and you can keep inputting crystals to the side. Remember the top requires uh, an extra block to place the crystal or it will do funny things. You won't have a game crash but nevertheless it will do funny things. So yeah I'm placing a lot of condensers in here however much they appear to play to be placed and I will then place some well you can see they will also provide light here and then I will place some energy condensers on on them they are all earning their share of power which is good. And they are not going to work together anyway. So I'm going to need and go ahead and ask the rest of the mm, where is it? Where is my red matter? Here. Oh, two hundred and fifty five. I still have quite a handful of of it. Well, I had uh, about 300, so it's not uh, it's not a biggie. Essentially, I took my portable transmutation tablet and used this uh, red matter and like to produce what I wanted. In this case, it would be. Well, we can't place Eternalis Fuel there. Collectors, Mark III. Yeah, you can see the Eternalis um, Fuel is almost useless. But uh, I had a lot of it. So I wanted to dispose of as many as I was able to. At least to charge up a little my transportation tablet. Because you can see I'm burning fairly quickly through everything. 
Okay, there should be more than enough to finish the job, and if not, well, we shall see. Of course, you need to consider that uh, the trick here will be a little more than just, uh, I don't know, placing the stuff. I will be placing condensers in front of this. Okay, we have it completed. And there should have some surplus items. Anyway, I now I'm going to go for the next step. Which is, of course, here. Yeah, there, there it was. And here. So what will be the next step to all this be? Well, it's uh, not hard to imagine. I will place the condensers. And by seeing what I do have on my on here with the provider pipes, you can guess what am I going to do next. And we have a small problem regarding availability of this stuff. But do not worry, we can do this and this and get a lot of them. They are cheaper than... Oh well. They are cheaper than the collectors. Oh, I didn't want you... Okay. I don't want to leave energy lingering around in here. And I should have more than enough. Yay! Now, of course, we will have to place stuff on in front of it for it to work. But uh, it will essentially let us have everything we need. Please mind that we are talking about almost two full blocks wide, which is yeah, more uh, about two and a half blocks wide or so, which is uh, a lot. Okay. I should uh, burn everything into a more considerable, considerable thingy. Nope, I didn't want you. Okay, like this is enough. So the next level should be to place another row of landmarks in here and in here and then in here. And you can guess what I'm going to do. If uh, lag lets me, I hope uh, it doesn't seem like we are generating tons of lag, by the way. So I suppose we're good. So there shouldn't be any problem. I didn't test it with uh, provider pipes, to be true, but uh, I did test it with others, and it uh, did work. We're going to need uh, more than two stacks, however. But yeah, they are connecting. So I can go ahead and go get more. And you can see here how we craft the provider logistic pipes. And I believe I'm going to need a li another stack or so. So it's like, whoops. Oh, and by the way, I think uh, provider pipes don't have uh, their own uh, EMC value. So we'll be a little pressed to dispose of them in case we need to later. However, considering the amount of uh, Mark III relays I have in there, well... <coughs> It's not really all that uh, 
problematic. <clears throat> you can see I placed here a teleporting pipe still connected to nothing because, well, I would need to remove it anyway later. Remember, uh, we are going to remove the provider pipes every now and then. And that is the reason because I didn't went ahead and place uh, chassis pipes because there would be no well there would be no reason to uh, imagine we have a full chest what can we do with stuff surplus items will probably be disposed of in some sort of well, whatever. Oh, only 16 were were left. And you can see we have a lot in here, like we have in here. Well, I didn't place any crafting pipes yet, because these ones I will have to place manually, mostly. But uh, it's a beginning, I suppose. Let me place here another teleporting pipe. And we can start uh, getting items and placing them here and there. And, well, another thing I can do, certainly, is to start building here the thing I thought I would. Mm -mm -mm. So, how do we do that? If we want to make it in one step, we are up for a disappointed disappointing disappointing oh well and where did I place the power teleporting pipes there should be around there I mean I had ones in yeah there they are give me a filler and give me okay the landmarks it's okay it's okay everything's where it should be Here and here. Hey, I didn't even had to check where to place stuff. I suppose I'm getting lucky every now and then. Oh, and please notice that uh, it will cover this too. Which is a small shame because it won't be... Well as useful as this one, but oh well, what can we do about that? Now for the next... well, this I will probably be able to do it manually better than than, use, than using... than setting up builders, so I better do it off-camera. And you can notice, since it's uh, night and the engines have been turned on for a long time well they are not working all that well I'm afraid let me get some interdiction torches too where did I place them? I misplaced everything yet everything is in here oh in here they were because we don't want uh, monsters spawning in here and blowing up stuff Okay, you go in there, you go in there, let's... oh dear. You go in there, you go in there. Perfect, we got everything. I might open this later for any other reason, but for now I will leave it closed because right now I don't have much of a use for it. I might use it later, however, to place there some of these uh, collectors, because, well, now I know how to set them up so they can work uh, without problem. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, I want to do something in here. I don't want to use regular torches in this in this castle, so I will be using 
interdiction torches instead because they are green oh no well here is better than just yeah the interdiction torches are essentially well something I like and by the way if I were to add some sort of item to the game I probably would add uh, more doors but with different uh, viewing options. A crystal door would be nice or a glass door and one that is completely opaque so you can see what's behind it would also be good. But, oh well. Yeah, like so. Perfect. I like it. The, the candelabra, the, the green lights just gives a merge of uh, magic and a world. Anyway, let's get to the next step. Okay, let's make some sort of sense of this. Let's place dirt in here, which is uh, the most basic stuff we can get. And there it is, the provider logistic pipe. In the second row, we're going to place another very basic item, cobblestone. In the third row, well, let's remove all this for now. It is somehow hard to make this uh, work. <clears throat> okay, and I'm going to need my uh, 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 remote orderer here. Let's ask for some wood requesting some glass, basically stuff that goes that cost uh, one EMC. Some of these, oh yes, smooth stone that's needed too and I'm going to need a, a, a block of iron because blocks are better block of diamonds ice, do I want ice? yeah why not we can go ahead and ask for it too I'm not going to use that one so yes lapis is another thing I want uh, tracks yeah Ladders, not really. What else do I want? This I already have on me. So that should be all for the cheapest. Because this one's of uh, RP2 I already have and can't really do that with uh, industrial crafts items. So, yeah, copper, tin, mm -mm 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 -mm. essentially, I suppose that's, oh no, of course, ruby, emerald, and sapphire, uh, gold, no, I already have some gold on me, mm -mm -mm. Uh, flint I also have string yeah sticks no not a chance uh, bricks yeah why not of course redstone is needed too <coughs> slime ball I already have this on me Mm. Under pearls, different tints. Uh, I will think about it later. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I suppose that that is mostly all of it. Oh, uranium, but uh, well, no, not really. Not not right now, at least. And. I suppose that's essentially all that it is. 
Oh no, Nicolite. It's another thing we need and silver. <coughs> Uh, oh, flax. Well, not really. I, I have more than enough flax now that I think about it. You know, there uh, I am at this point where you don't really gather materials. Instead, you just place some collectors and let the materials pile up on you. And you can just go ahead and, well, do whatever you do. I won't go with uh, dark and red matter here, so... Eternal is fuel, yes I will. So you can see it's fairly fairly small amount of items in the end. By the way, I should... Uh, no, I don't want to place you there. I should consider something else no, that, I, that I think about it. Yes, I only have red wool. I want uh, one of each, I suppose. And get rid of the ships. Well, I will keep them there, but I won't uh, uh, keep the system on, so to speak. Okay. So essentially this allows me to get uh, all the, the wool I want. And let's keep going with the cheaper materials here, which are... Well, not all the cheaper in here, but close enough. Yeah. Okay, I w oh, you're already set. Good. In here, I do want smooth stone. In here, I want some flint. No, glass. In here I want sand. Let me check. In here I will place wood. And here I will place... Mm -mm 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 -mm. I don't want to start with wood yet, so let's place ice in here. And here I can place bricks. Yes, they have. I an EMC value. So essentially that's what I'm going to do. Okay, here I can place coal, which is going to take a while to cook up. Here I will place some flint, which is going to be fairly quick. Here why don't we go with redstone? Nicolite. Glowstone. So here we can place string, which is going to be fairly quick. And here we can place slime balls. Ender pearls. and, uh, well, essentially builds all the providing system. You might, of course, have noticed that I made no effort of any kind to be sure that uh, surplus items are returned to here. That's because I don't want items to get in, in these chests. I mean, this chest will provide, but uh, everything they provide will have its own store place. So, wool, white, black, red, which shouldn't be much to worry about because I have a full collector out there filled with it. But, oh well. And essentially, this is what I'm going to do with this room. Remember the the opposite room is going to be filled with my crafting system and uh, I still have to craft a big EMC collection room of some sort. That su I suppose will be the, the upper level. 
so I'll keep uh, going at this and I'll go back to you as soon as I finish with most of it and see you later. And here is an interesting piece of knowledge while block of iron is uh, certainly something you can place uh, same for block of diamonds and block of gold it is not the same that can be said about copper ruby or tin or sapphire or the like you need to break those into their components which is damn shame if you ask me because it means we can have uh, fewer than we wanted to but so oh well nothing we can do about that so it seems like they don't have EMC value or they on their own they depend on well the small entries but uh, worry not because because there is a solution in the wrappings I've heard lurking around in the uh, 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 equivalent exchange uh, thread in the Minecraft forum that uh, we will be able to see something akin to uh, if the components of the item have an EMC value the item will have an EMC value derived from, from those components so essentially uh, something like uh, well this one like the thing we have seen right now the blocks not having n any n EMC value, but the parts of them doing it uh, won't happen because if the simple single parts have uh, an EMC value, the rest will have uh, well, it's uh, a, der a derived one. Of course, that uh, will mean you will have to look out for other thingies <coughs> like uh, items that have items in their recipe that have EMC value but uh, I and items that do not but uh, well that's uh, fairly simple to do I suppose oh and by the way I'm just using frequency 1001 for this and you can see I place the teleporting system just in the middle of it. I, it is very possible that I will place several to speed up things but uh, or move this one to the middle when I am moving that way but for the time being it's okay. There. So I should uh, remove all this stuff and get to the next step which is starting to craft items in here. Of course I'm going to need uh, an item teleporting pipe somewhere with a thousand and one to bring items in and then the crafting the crafting pipes but uh, for now we're good with just this and to finish things up I'm going to place this alchemical chest in here, oh you can see they are facing all the same way a uh, small shame but not entirely unpredictable and we're going to craft the red alchemy back and storage the surplus of chemical chests for now in fact I'm going to dispose of some of the contents of this of this bag we can do that uh, fairly easier by finding somewhere that requires like this uh, let it be made okay so now that we made this we need of course to graph again the landmarks it seems like I'm missing one I don't know the reason it is quite fortunate landmarks can be placed uh, in all directions and we're going to well no in fact we are, we are not going to uh, I mean I was going to make it uh, manually but now I realize it's not an entirely good idea 
And yes, I know I'm lacking another of these. Let me check for a second the reds. Yes, there's one here. That's because... Oh, two, in fact. That's because there's another black hole bound in there. So what I'm going to grab from here is all this uh, polymorphic and the like. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Anything else? Not really. No, not not really. For now, at least, let's uh, leave things like so in here. Uh, <coughs> can graph this anyway. <coughs> what I'm going to do is to, of course, place some polymorphic items in there and the like. It's not uh, the best place to be, but uh, it should suffice, I suppose. Uh, I suppose I will place another row in here, maybe on top of the... Yeah, why don't... Where did I play? Oh, yes. I was looking for the markers, can you believe it? Uh, here. To here. And to here. Perfect. And we can place the filler here. Finally, we can go here and here and here. Perfect. So, let me think for a second whether can I place. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. If we place this in here, and of course the teleporting... Oh, must have fallen in the red alchemy pack. Uh, power teleporting pipe, yes, here it is. And we're going to get another filler. And place it in here. And we have two for the price of one. Of course we still need to place the bricks. In both and then place the rest of the chests. And please be mindful that uh, the power will uh, will be, uh, be, well, parted. It will be separated in two, so it can affect both... Uh, oh, there was in there. So it can affect both places at once. Let me grab the chemical chests. Uh, that's an energy condenser. Mm. Like this in here should be more than enough. And the rest in here should be okay. So now, one, two, three, four. True. And this one's finished. Ha! <laughs> With one to spare. Great. And this one's two. Okay, let's make sure nothing falls in here, which we want somewhere else. Let's place the chemical chest in there. And we can store it uh, safely in the white uh, bag, what we want to keep safe. Okay, like this. So, I could keep going this way, but... Uh, this is li a little too well filled already to my taste, so I'll leave it like so. Yeah, so we can use all this wall if we want and this one, but uh, well, I doubt we'll need so much space. So what I'm going to do here is to graph uh, now, from here, I believe. No, for the white back. I'm going to graph the logistic chassis mark 2. And uh, I'm going to place here some stuff, like uh, wooden planks. And sticks, for example, in here. Then I will place one of these, and I'm going to need my wrench. And you know what we are going to do here. Of course you do. Uh, it will be boring and very, very uh, repetitive work, but there's nothing we can do about it. 
we did all this before, but uh, separated by enough time for it to keep it interesting to uh, to a, to an extent. Now, well, now we have this. So in here, what should I want to place in here? Okay, for now let's look like so. And in the crafting, I place this in here. Okay, I can live with that. Let's place the rolling machine and the cart thingy here. So the rolling machine, by the way, if you were wondering before, I don't know if I already said it, but uh, we can use it like an automatic crafting table, just uh, with at least my current version of craft logistic pipes, it won't uh, work with logistic pipes. It will work with uh, wooden pipes, so if you place, for example, three pieces of iron here and another three here, and a redstone engine and a wooden pipe taking items out of it, it will output uh, the appropriate item each time it gets uh, two of two iron bars in here and here. So yeah, in that regard, in that regard, it will work like uh, that one. Another thing I'm going to do hopefully between episodes, is to fill all this. I will mostly, I believe, make the walls. Yes. Unfortunately, we have uh, more than enough here. Yeah, I might use obsidian, maybe. Not sure, not sure. Anyway, I need uh, several things. I don't think I will be making more of these stairs. They were a lot of work, frankly. And I think I might uh, make in the corners here elevators. I'm not sure yet. I might even break my little oath of uh, having the castle floating in the air, making some sort of connection to what's behind, eliminating a little of, of the lava, so I can place some sort of uh, connection underground. That lets me, for example, place uh, electrical stuff, generating stuff, like uh, very, very compact solar panels and advanced ones around here or somewhere, somewhere else, very hidden and carry the electricity to the castle because I plan to move everything here but well that's not really all that relevant because there are a few things new I've been showing you lately so yes oh I said I might be doing something here I'm not sure yet what I will do anyway and besides uh, it would be two levels high only. I don't know, maybe a lava trap of some sort, not sure. Anyway, thanks for watching this episode 70 and I must uh, say that uh, this season is uh, reaching an end, not because a new version of Minecraft is coming, uh, neither because I might have a working new set of stuff, but because simply there are few stuff that I can show you that is interesting and new. I mean, it's uh, well mostly here automatization and the like. I will be moving my Thumbcraft stuff here first next time in the next episode. Uh, once I have all this uh, level built and start placing stuff. I might uh, place some of the um, collectors, these collectors, down here, so they can, well, I can have at least one in each uh, of the chunks, one in here, for example, another in there, another one in there, etc. Uh, but I will have problems moving the bees upwards, unless I make some sort of, well, 
something that let me move stuff upwards. Maybe in one of the corners, or I might uh, even make use of part of here, since it's not easy to see which since it's not easy to see here if there are some holes or whatever I could uh, place a false wall in there so for example in here for example so the room would be like this but I'm not sure it all depends on other stuff and besides, I'm a little nervous right now because the house is trembling. There's no earthquake, just some stuff going on on the street. They seem to be digging a little too happy. And it's uh, very, very nerve-wracking. Anyway, that's all for episode 70. I hope you like it. And I will keep uh, the building and see you in the next one. Bye, and have fun, people.